Now we'll take a look at two more examples of adding rational expressions with like denominators. And since the denominators are the same, to add or subtract the rational expressions, we add or subtract the numerators, and the denominator stays the same. So for our first example, since both denominators are four x cubed, it will stay four x cubed, and then we'll add the numerators, so we would have the quantity twelve x squared plus nine, plus the quantity five x squared minus nine. Notice how I included parentheses around each numerator. I highly recommend doing this for both addition and subtraction, even though it's not required for addition. So now we will clear the parentheses, so we can think of distributing a positive one if we want, which isn't going to change anything. So this would give us twelve x squared plus nine, plus five x squared minus nine, all over our common denominator of four x cubed. And now we'll combine the like terms in the numerator. So again, our denominator is going to stay the same, four x cubed. And we have twelve x squared plus five x squared, that would be seventeen x squared. Then notice we have a positive nine minus nine, that would be zero. So we have seventeen x squared over four x cubed. But now we do want to give our answer in simplified form. Notice the numerator and denominator do share factors of x. To show this, we could write seventeen x squared as seventeen times x times x. And we could write four x cubed as four times x times x times x. X over x simplifies to one here and here, leaving us with seventeen divided by four x. And to simplify x squared over x cubed, we could have also used the quotient rule for exponents. Let's take a look at our second example. Again, notice both denominators are fifteen, so the denominator is going to stay fifteen. We'd have the quantity x plus seven minus the quantity negative two x plus seven. And again, with subtraction, we do want to include these parentheses to make sure we subtract this entire quantity. And to do this, we'll now clear the parentheses. Again, we can think of distributing a positive one here, but because of the subtraction, we can think of distributing a negative one here, which is going to change the sign of each of these terms. So again, the denominator is going to stay fifteen. We're going to have x plus seven from the first numerator. And then here, negative one times negative two x will be a positive two x, so plus two x. And here we'll have a negative one times a positive seven, that's negative seven, so we'll have minus seven. Looking at the numerator, notice how we have plus seven minus seven, that would be zero. And we also have one x plus two x, that's going to be three x. So we have three x over fifteen, but three x and fifteen do share a common factor of three. To show this, we can write three x as three times x, and we could write fifteen as three times five. Three over three simplifies to one, so our simplified difference is x divided by five. We'll look at two more examples in the next video.